So somebody contacted me, somebody from your your files, somebody from the commune. Her name was Zetra. Does that ring a bell? Zetra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's she's a little nuts. Uh, she she was. Uh... She what? Hot one today, <laughs> but that's good. We need our son. When I was a kid, we had a fire drill at our school during lunch. And uh, I put my fruit roll up on the concrete of the parking lot. It slowly baked on. Everyone looked at me. It felt good. Everyone looking at me. <laughs> Mr. Serkman yelled at me made me peel it off. Whole day at school could smell strawberry under my nails. A lot of people in the sky chanters, like doing the whole barefoot thing, I, I can never do that. I'm more of a flop scale. I got poisoned sumac when I was with the Sky Chanters. It was terrible. Everyone thinks ivy's bad, but sumac is worse. And poison oak. Poison oak is like the bitch of the group. How's it going? Yeah. Hi. What'd you do for the uh, for the fourth? Uh, nothing really. I I heard some people throwing off fireworks, but. I don't know, it annoys me every year because fireworks are really bad for the environment and these poor animals that live in the trees are so scared when they hear that go off, you know? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, I, that's awful that we do that to them. I, you know, I can't believe you're not excited about baseball coming back. I mean, it's it's something, right? Uh, sure, uh, it's just not really my style. I understand, I understand. Sounds disgusting. It was well, it, well. I guess it depends on the type of fish, but yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was really disturbing. So after that, you know, I said I got to get out of that work, and so now I'm more doing stuff like this. And these guys needed my help for for a couple of things. And I said, as long as there's no fish involved, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You know? So I'm still doing some security work for the town. Um, you know, with this this damn virus you know it's, it's been a little busier than it had been so you know it's keeping me busy still doing a lot of that work and um you know it's where we are i mean and you guys know about genevieve you know going missing so looking into that still trying to see what i can come up with with that following any leads that i have you know so you know that's been something that's keeping me busy and you know i know chris has been looking for her but you know she just got out of jail and and just vanished He has some mysterious injury that they don't even know what it is. We signed the guy two years, $20 million, no idea what's wrong with him. First it was the lower leg, then it was the upper leg, then it was the upper leg and hip, then it, it was spreading, then it was a shoulder, and then, this is true, it was just a right side injury. Right side, just vague, that's the official classification, is right side injury. What does that even mean? Yoannis Cespedes falls in a hole. Then we're like, what, what's going on? Boom, he now uh, has a setback. So we accept that. We say maybe it is if you just fell in a magical hole. Then we find out, no, it actually was a horse, right? He was on a horse in his ranch and falls off that. So we're like, all right, maybe that's it. Then the truth comes out. And the truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. The truth is he was stopping a wild boar from coming into his property. Matthew, Matt, 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 listen, I, I can't hear you, man. Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Um, I don't know if we should talk to I'm worried about Joseph. So yeah, Matthew's like freaking out right now. Apparently, you know, Joseph is working on something big, you know? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but everybody's everybody's losing their fucking mind right now.
a, a league of their own. Is that? That's the one with the dad and the son in the cornfield. No, that's that's Field of Dreams. That's um, that's a much different movie. Once Baxter took over, I, I could tell. I could tell things were changing. Well, Matthew thinks the Golga was poisoned by Baxter. He thinks Baxter's dangerous. Matthew convinces himself of a lot. The Golga wasn't exactly in the best health, but Baxter is capable of anything. I think a lot of people sadly started to not like Matthew. Like, people got the vibe that he just wanted to be your friend so bad, like, like they could never trust him. He would do a lot of the behind the scenes, if you will, for us. Right. Right. Um, you keep in contact with any other Sky Chanters? Nah, not anymore. Cut all my ties. I really shouldn't be talking to you guys. Why are you? Why are you talking with us? People. The world. They need to know. Baxter. What it is he's trying to do. He's trying to destroy the song. The song of the world. The universe. Alright. Um... Matthew seems to think you know his secret. That he could never hear this song? I told him not to worry about that. It, it isn't a bad thing. Many of us had trouble hearing it. But when I did, it was magical. A lot of us that left realized we never needed that place to hear it. The singing. I miss a lot of those people, but I manage. What's it sound like? The, the singing? Like the ocean and the birth of a star and a first kiss. Don't believe me, do you? Maybe I do. It's a beautiful thing. And how is Baxter looking to destroy this song? You know. I don't. By killing everyone that can hear it. 